Now then. I don't know who we're going to actually fight because I'm not sure how they would change this, but typically you'd fight Vashnuki. And, and what that means is you're going to get a lot of poison. You're going to get a lot of annoying de debilitations. It's He's just a pain in the ass. Nope, he's still there. Just... Forgive me. We haven't seen him yet. The hell is that? Oh. Still don't know what the hell that is. is that all? That's Basil Bob. Well, if it isn't Albino, Lord Lucifer holds in high regard. A question, if you will allow. For what purpose have you come here? Think hard. If I like what I hear, I may just hand over the key here and now. A fine answer. Like Lord Lucifer, you would push beyond the boundaries of existence as we know it. I may not agree with all his methods, but I shall respect his vision. He's earned that much at least. Now then, Nahobino, I could simply hand over the key of austerity, but where would the sport be in that? No. I would rather put your might to the test. Show me the power upon which Lord Lucifer builds his hope. I am not ready for this. <laughs> so we have to fight Beazelbub? I think he's weak to electricity. Nope, totally not. Alright, cool. Okay, so he does that, he does he does ice. He's actually not weak to light. Uh, force. Nope, okay. What level is he on? 72, okay. He also does Death Flies, which is a dark ability, so... Whether he's weak to this or not, it's gonna hit. He is weak. To, okay, so he's weak to fire. Good job. So you wish to die. See, the problem with this is not just that Basil Bub's higher level than me, but the problem is also that Basil Bub is a late game. Which means that. Which means that you're fighting somebody with late game weaknesses and late game abilities. So this could be a major issue. <laughs> Where is it this far? This one. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Fucking love this thing. Uh, yeah, no. One point. She also has luster candy. This song is new, by the way. So in the original game, yeah, you never fought Beazel Buck. You could just do that. This ends now. But my god, does this guy have a serious amount of health? Like barely putting a dent in him. He probably is going to save Death Flies for when he's going Magatsu. Wish to die. So, two of them are going to have to block. My Switch her out with my beloved. Your turn. Go. Oh, okay. The only problem is she is weak to dark. <laughs> Come on. But she heals, and we need that. And she also does Lester Candy. She actually, you know, I know that I think about it. Oh yeah. You want to watch? Gaze upon my beauty. Uh. That's what I need. <laughs> <laughs> So she'll have to block because she's not going to do any How I long So you wish to die. I would like to have another lost And I'll have him guard too. Shit. <laughs> I thought for sure he was gonna go with Death Flies. Still hasn't even cast that. He's gonna have to prove the hardest. You gotta go. I need someone to hold fire. And you, but I'm just not gonna count. Um, yeah, I'll put not Put this little shit in. He's got some good offensive skills. I can get her support up one more time to make that a lot more. Think you can handle this? Oh yeah, he does that too.
Um, but that one. Was it Viper? No, 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 it was a Jordan. Good. Everybody should be getting a level up. Okay, not everybody got a level up. Well done. Perhaps you are capable of transcension after all. We unlocked him, even though we didn't actually play him. That's the Battle of Shiva, not doing that right now. <laughs> it's not happening. Okay, so let's change up the party a bit more now. Uh, I guess I can keep that. I'm not, I mean... Okay, so... With that... I am going to... Now the thing is, we are one level away from when I start... Actually, are we? Hold on. Oh, she's already maxed. Okay. No, actually, it is time to start the grind, baby. All right, well, um... Okay, let me, let me, um... Let's go get... Uh, yeah, let's do that first. Let's go get... Search... I haven't even thought about using my grimoires. God, do I want you. Oh, whatever I turned you on, baby. Oof. There's my love. I you know where Rudolph came from. All right. Yeah. There you are. Oh. Odin is rough because he has Gugnir which pierces. The electricity that he does doesn't really matter to us. God, hey baby. Marry me, yeah. God, I want you so bad. Hey, it's a new moon. There she goes. God, I love you. Usually you can't negotiate with a new moon. Oh, God, I need you, baby. That is, that is like the perfect woman's body. I mean, listen, I'm... I just love women, so, like, Valkyries is nice, too, but my god, Cleopatra, that's, that is a perfect female body right there. <laughs> I mean, you know, I don't, I don't like it when women have cartoonishly big tits. I'm not that into the idea of, you know, those mammoth tits. It's just kind of offsetting and off-putting. Let me think. Uh, we want, what, what do we want? We want Floros. Floros was up a level, I believe. Was he? God, I want you. All these... Demonesses love eating children and, and people and stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because women are evil. You'd think the internet was running things back then, too. 
I don't see anybody here. Hold on. Yeah, folks, every time you think that humanity has progressed, no, nope, we're the same animals we've always been. That's a two three I don't know why you're attacking that. That's F8. Is the Floros in here? That was fun. There, there you are! Found you! <laughs> it's a public surface. Oh god, I love this game. Say. God, I need you, baby. <clears throat> that was the conversation, because I know that... That video games, the so-called AAA version, or anything that's released, I guess... Everything that's released on PC and PS5 or whatever the fuck, you know, the shitty consoles. I know that they were all up in arms about the whole thing of Stellar Blade, a piece of shit knockoff of Bayonetta. Because, you know, she was all sexy and everything, or hot, whatever. And I know that there were French people who didn't like... Or there was a French <clears throat> critic that didn't like her makeup because it was giving unfair guidelines to femininity and stuff. And I'm going, wait a minute, you're the same culture that said a woman's perfect size was able to fit in a champagne glass. I don't know of any woman that had tits that small. <laughs> Unless she wasn't even in training yet. And you're talking about unfair guideline? Really? I can't stand when, when people try to speak for like women in general. As if women can't defend themselves. I mean, you know, United States women, yeah, that's kind of, kind of question because they're so indoctrinated to want to be men that they think femininity is disgusting and horrible and whatever. So they don't defend themselves, they just use the same bullshit corporate rhetoric or male rhetoric. Either it's, well, I have a right to be a slut and whatever, or, well, my husband has it so much worse than I do because he has to work for a living, whereas I just get pregnant and have to deal with, you know, stuff like periods and everything. But... Here you go. Aside from that, when, like, people outside the United States, where you actually have an idea as to what men and women are, different differentiation and stuff like that, I just can't stand when you try to speak for a whole group of people because you don't know what the fuck you're saying. Some things are left for interpretation. I mean, there we go. Now we're moving and grooving. And by the way, Stellar Blade wasn't worth the trouble. She was hot. I mean, I'm not going to say she wasn't. She looks like a kid. Like, she looks like a 15-year-old, but... You know, Bayonetta was doing a lot hotter things a lot earlier. I don't see what the problem was. And they're much better games. <laughs> like, the only positive commentary aside from, wow, she's hot, that I heard about that stupid-ass game, which people have forgotten pretty much, aside from all the new mods and stuff with her wearing skankier outfits, the only positive I heard is, so what, it's too easy. You know, like, I mean, well, you want to play a game that's really easy, that's cool, but... 
the challenge is part of what makes it fun. When it's, you know, fair challenge. Balanced challenge. Not just insane challenge for the sake of acting like it's really way too difficult. But considering modern society, especially DC generated society, adores sadomasochism. Yeah, you know, shit like that makes you the, the dumbass if you don't like to do, do the same thing 10,000 times over. Because it's difficult. Okay, so, Odin should be here. We can take him. Kind of. Hi, baby. Alright, that's if Odin actually fights this. Because it could just be somebody completely different. I mean, we just fought Beelzebub. No, that's Odin. Well, well. So you're the Nahobino whose name is on everyone's lips. You should know Bethel has ordered your death. I usually don't care to follow the Angel's orders. Yet neither can I simply ignore your claim to rule. Answer me this, Mahobino. What lies in your heart as you seek the throne? When you look upon the denizens of this world, do you see hope? Or despair? I see. Very good. Then let us pit your blade against my spear, and see whose resolve wins out. Do not worry. Death at my hand shall earn you your place in Valhalla. Valhalla, I am coming. His weakness is force, just like his son. The hell are you trying to pull, Odin? I'm not just Zeus. Don't tell me I gotta fight them both at the same time. You here for the keys, boy? Lucky you. The All Father and I will grant you a real clash of the gods. Oh, God. Fools who dare to cross Bethel, come face your end. Well, they have the same weaknesses. There's a fucking huge problem here. <laughs> I did not want to fight them at the same time. This is ridiculous. Alright, uh, neither one of them healed that I'm aware of. <laughs> Zeus can be charmed. Now that's what a woman looks like. Uh, and you don't have your force abilities yet. So the big problem here is that Zeus, well, they both have an ability that pierces. Search. His is Gugnir, it's a physical pierce, not that it matters. And Zeus is, Zeus will do this, that animus thing where he can just Penetrate any of your defenses. <laughs> so they both can just bypass your defenses. Alone, they're pretty rough. It's... So, let's see. Oh, I can't get. Oh, man. Yeah. 
Okay. Put my love back in. Let's go. It means you're shaking those fine, beautiful hips. I love. Okay, so now they're gonna do their pure shit. That's gonna be a huge problem. Gaze upon my beauty. God. Uh, there we go. Come, thunder. The big problem, though, is that even after we take out Odin, we gotta take out Zeus. And Zeus is no picnic. Thanks. All right, let's see. Who do I want to put in here? Put Norn back in, I guess. Your turn. Go. All right, Zeusy time. Let's go. He has the same weakness as. As Odin. I could do eternal prayer and bring my love back, but... You know me, I'm all about the offense. Okay, let's do succession. This thing is fucking sick. That's like 2,500. All right, now we all know what he's gonna do in the first move, so I think big Fionn McCormillion is gonna have to block. He, on the other hand. Okay, maybe. Come, thunder! Okay. <laughs> Run low on the OMP, man. Haven't hit one friggin' critical. Thank you. Damn it, I forgot. Well, I didn't forget, I just... Saw a window of opportunity and decided to take it. Okay. This game likes to throw a lot of enemies at you, huh? All right. Here. 
And I think this is the second big boss gang battle or something that I can think of. Yeah, you're out. Um... <laughs> How do I keep putting this little fucker in there? I guess just to lower the accuracy or something. Bam! Got them both. Holy shit. So I get both your keys? Then what's this other place? Who's waiting for me over there? Hell of a fight, boy. That's a loss I can accept. More readily than Bethel will, I suspect. Much as they'll object. The keys of benevolence and harmony are yours. Originally, you had to fight Zeus in the other area, in the Greek area, and Odin here. Separately, obviously. And they would do shit like Gugner and Impaler's Animus. That's what I was trying to think of before. Hi, baby. You now have all three keys. Representing the three... At this point, I can beeline it to the end. I have the Gospels. You've earned the right to ascend to the heavens. Now, make your way to the Temple of Eternity, where the entrance to the Empyrean lies. Okay. Yes! Alright, look at the star. Still not maxed out yet. <laughs> Alright, Deity Odin, I can't use... Okay, so I want to do a lot more, but I really have to go to the bathroom right now. I'm hoping uh, there's nobody in there, because I really have to go. <laughs> but I will be back tomorrow with more. We're going to do some grinding, and we're going to do some fusion. I'll see you then.